perhaps these patients are you know destined to die but the reality is if we want to change this that's where we have to focus but what i want to do is understand why they're dying so quickly because that's how we move forward in terms of intervention so if you imagine your trauma patient who has a structurally normal heart who has a hole in the artery somewhere in their body not necessarily the aorta who's losing volume losing preload but also has a hole in the arterial system it's likely that they develop retrograde flow during systole and lose the ability to generate diastolic blood pressure and then perfuse the heart during diastole. So it's likely that you can induce pretty profound myocardial ischemia in this context, which I think is one of the reasons why we see this rapid death. Okay, So I think we need to move beyond the just the blood pouring out. We need to pour it in. We need to think about why these patients' hearts are stopping. And I think this is the mechanism for that. We also know from our data set that the patients that do survive the hospital with injury then die in the ICU in the London trauma system. The vast majority, more than 80% die with severe cardiovascular dysfunction. So they don't die of renal failure or respiratory failure, they die of cardiac failure. And that's the end point to this process for even the patients that survived the hospital.